Newsletters are more than just another marketing email in your inbox. For creators, newsletters are a key piece of content that really helps them build those deeper connections with their audience in a really meaningful way. In the age of endless scrolls and short, flashy TikTok dances, these newsletters have trended the opposite way. Stripped down, honest, long form communication to their subscribers who have opted in to read more. Now, if you're using ConvertKit, you already know that we do this best. From email opt-in landing pages to our writing experience, you can run your free or your paid newsletter on ConvertKit with ease. But we didn't wanna just stop there. We wanted to continue improving your experience in creating, marketing, and selling that newsletter. So allow me to introduce the ConvertKit Creator Profile, a quick and easy way to set up your public newsletter feed to drive more readers to your content. I'm Angel Marie from ConvertKit. Let's go ahead and walk through it. Whether you've just started your newsletter or maybe you've been running it for years, you can set up your ConvertKit creator profile to increase awareness of the content that best shares who you are and what it is that you offer. To create your creator profile, just create or log into your ConvertKit account. Under Grow, you'll see the new feature Creator Profile. To make it as easy for you to start marketing that newsletter, We've made a template that you can actually quickly customize with your brand colors and fonts. You'll also be able to update your profile picture, description, and domain to make it easy for you to make this creator profile uniquely yours. Now, if you want to use your creator profile as a link in bio page, you can absolutely do that too. Just add in your social media links or any additional promo links that you have so that all of your most important content is all in one place for your audience to find. Best of all, there's already a built-in opt-in form at the top of your creator profile to help you continue to increase newsletter subscribers. The beauty of the creator profile is that once you've set it up, everything else is updated automatically. Whenever you send your newsletter using our broadcast feature, you have to select who the email is going to and when you'd like to send it. In the same screen, you also have the option to post it to your public feed, your creator profile. This puts you in the driving seat of how you manage your newsletter feed. You have the flexibility to choose which emails show up on your creator profile. Not every broadcast you send will be a newsletter. And sometimes you want your newsletter content to be exclusive to those subscribers who are already on your email list. And the best part, you don't have to decide when you send the email. You can even do this after you've already sent that email. You can always go back and choose to post or remove a broadcast email from your public feed on your creator profile. This even gives you the opportunity to only showcase the newsletters that have the highest engagement. Now let's talk about how you can create and sell your paid newsletter on ConvertKit. It's quick and easy to set up a product landing page that you can share and then sell that paid newsletter of yours. Plus, you can also set up paid posts on your public feed too. One of the most effective ways to sell any product is to give those who are interested a sneak peek. With newsletters, it's always best to give them a preview of the content that they're missing. To do this, all you have to do is publish any emails intended for your paid newsletter to your public feed. When you post an email within that public feed, you'll also have the choice to indicate whether it's meant for paid subscribers only, meaning people who have paid and subscribed to your paid newsletter. Audiences who are not subscribed to that paid newsletter will see the post with a pay gate with an option to pay and then subscribe. The subscribe button will direct audiences to the product landing page that you created previously. So all the creating, marketing, and selling is done within ConvertKit. You can even set the call to action link in the creator profile settings. Now, if you're not ready to start a newsletter, remember that the creator profile can also act as your link in bio page. Link pages got its name because you can't add URLs to captions on Instagram or TikTok. So to help encourage your audiences to move from one channel to another, link in bio pages are really convenient. 
With all your social media links and promotional links all in one place, it's the fastest way to start marketing your creative work. That's why the ConvertKit Creator Profile helps you showcase yourself and your brand in the best way possible in just a few clicks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next ConvertKit video.